let's see, live stream. Now I'm all squared away. All right, guys. Let's give it a minute for some people to hop in here. There we go. Keno Kevin, what's up, Jacob? How you doing, man? First one in here on this Saturday morning. I think it's a little bit later morning right now. What's up? What's up? 10 people in the first 30 seconds. All right, let's get going. So right here out by the Palace Station and going to walk. What's up, Jeffrey? What's up, Blake? And we're going to walk this way and try to head towards the Strip. It's early. Do you ever sleep, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. I thought I was for a while here. My uh, sleep schedule is kind of hit or miss. So, Tuolumne, California. All right. <laughs> Jonathan, what's up? Mike's coming in a couple of weeks. Mary out in Boston. Ivy, good old Ivy up in Gotham City, right? Victor in Mexico, muy bien. All right. Hey guys, see Resorts World? Look at the progress they're making and see, see the wind and the Encore just passed it. Wonder if they're still pissed off about uh, Resorts World the saying, the saying, uh, or yeah, if they're still pissed off about Resorts World saying they're trying to copy their design. Okay. Otis, it is another beautiful day. Olivia had to cancel your trip. I'm sorry to hear it. So it is nice. I think it's 98 degrees right now. Someone, if someone wouldn't mind checking the temperature for me. I looked at it this morning. And right now the mornings are uh, really nice. Manuela Betancourt from Atwater. Oh yeah. I know the Central Valley. And you got the Portuguese name. Definitely no shortage of Portuguese people in the Central Valley, that's for sure. Alrighty. So I saw the temperature this morning, and in the mornings right now, it's beautiful. Even at night, as the sun goes down, it's beautiful. It's just once you start to hit about 10, 11 in the morning. Yeah, so Aaron says 98 degrees right now at 10.30. Uh, Sherry says $4.99 tips is get yourself some water. Thank you, Sherry. I may definitely need it as I get uh, on the other side of the 15 here. Yeah, it's going to be, I believe it's supposed to be over 100. I think it's supposed to be over 100 for the next week, 10 days, something like that. So the heat came uh, late this year because in years past here in Vegas, I've felt like the second half of August tends to cool down a little bit. Not that it cools down a lot. But it does cool down a bit, and it's much more uh, manageable during the daytime. But this summer was strange because June wasn't that hot. Even July wasn't that hot until about the second week. I mean, I think 111 is the hottest day we've had. We haven't had any, I don't think we've had any 112 or 115 days. Anastasio Rancho Cucamonga in the Inland Empire. What's up, Ronaldo? This Californian right here driving is probably mad at me for leisurely taking my time walking across the strip, or walking across the street towards the strip. I'm trying to give you guys a good view though. GH5B, what's up? Mike Cozine from Central Coast. It's in the San Luis Obispo area, I take it. Tim is in downtown. Tina Marie says she loves the walks. Blue car in Atlantic City, nice. Luz, you're coming to Palace Station at the end of the month. Uh, it'll definitely still be warm. Won't, probably won't be as hot as now, I'm guessing. But wouldn't be surprised if uh, you're in the 90s <laughs> during the daytime. Maybe you won't hit triple digits, but 90s I would be pretty confident. Oh, not even five minutes in, hit 100 people, that's cool. We have Chick-fil-A right here. It's definitely, look at Chick-fil-A on this Saturday morning. 
And one car pulled away, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, that I can see right here in line. Russell, uh, Nellie, isn't that your wife, man? Did you do I said before, she didn't believe I was, I was live or something like that. And you're like, no, tell Nellie you're actually live. I said, yes, I am live. I am talking to you in real time. 21st century, it's got that amazing technology, you know? What's up, CJ? Gosh, look guys, even from here, look at the mountains. You can see the mountains in the distance. To me, it's kind of interesting to think about it. I uh, remember talking to a guy one time, gosh, this guy's probably in his 60s, I'm gonna guess. And he's been in Vegas, I think, for 35, 40, 40 plus years. I could have sworn he said the 70s, I'm not certain though. They talked to him when he came here all those years ago, how just a few blocks west of the Strip, there were ranches. So now you, you go down to Sahara here and you'll see all kinds of businesses. You'll see restaurants, you'll see banks, you know, workout facilities, gyms, uh, dry cleaner, car lots, all kinds of stuff you'll see as you walk that way. But I saw it was interesting to think about back in like, you know, just even in the 70s probably in the 80s too, just, you know, you have all this entertainment here on Las Vegas Boulevard and just a couple blocks that way, you're out like on someone's ranch out in the desert. Here. Stacy says hi from the UK. Steven, nope, I do not. S. Perez from Maryland. Hey, glad you like the videos. Glad they've helped out. Treks in Dubai. All right. Hello. Oh, no turn on red. Still going. Oh, you're driving like you're in LA, huh? Okay. <laughs> Blocking the intersection here a little bit. <laughs> if you were trying to maneuver around this traffic here. Israel and Pittsburgh, nice man. Alright, I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> They're all goofed up right, right now on the intersection here. <laughs> the car's stuck here. Turn it on the red. You guys, if you guys hear the yelling, just it's like on the other side of the road, just a homeless guy talking to himself. So, no fight, no violence, nothing like that. Let's see who's that. Tom Yostin. Hey, glad you like the videos, my man. Getting ready to move here, that's pretty cool. GH5B. But I think the other casinos will follow MGM raising the ridiculous resource fees. You know, I don't know that the other ones are really in a position to do that. I mean, Caesars is in the middle of a sale right now with El Dorado. Venetian Palazzo, there's, there's already 45 bucks a night. Yeah, I don't know that some of those smaller ones can really afford to get away with that. Oh, they already got the accent cleaned up. When I drove by here a moment ago, they had a car. It had a patrol put over there talking to someone, I think it was a witness, and there was a car up here. Um, there was a car this part right here like facing this way like the wrong way so it must have got hit and spun out or something but I didn't even see another car I just saw the one car facing that way C Gibbs howdy from Ohio what's up C Gibbs I haven't seen you in a minute it feels like 
Let's see. Gary Jaramillo says prices will get better in two years when there's three, four different owners. Yeah, the competition should help with the prices. And Jaramillo, that's a big uh, landscaping company here in Las Vegas. I feel like I see their trucks around town all the time. Temperature is about 98 degrees. So it'll probably be up to 100 here in no time. Guys, get a look at our freshly paved entrance here to Interstate 15 going towards downtown. Alright, so I tried this walk once before. Hey, don't stop for me. Hey, it's a California place, so everybody can start ripping on California now. <laughs> so, let's see here. Under 300, Milwaukee's a huge fan of you, Jacob. Tom, watch out for those Cali weekend drivers. Yeah. <laughs> so, being from California, I think that maybe it's a little more instinctual in me, a little bit more aware <laughs> of the hectic drivers. Joey M313 in the house. Where's a 313 at? Flat Earth Deacon. I like that name. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this walk goes okay because I tried this walk, I think, beginning of the summer. End of spring, beginning of summer. And I tried to go from on that side of the street at Palace Station over this way. And it was all fine till it hit a dead end over there with the sidewalk. And I lost signal over there too, so it's kind of a double whammy. Uh, there used to be a sidewalk on that side, but it's fenced off now. So we'll try going this way and see how it goes. view of Circus Circus and Resorts World from the back side here. Andrew says he likes Humboldt County. The rest don't bother visiting. Well, you're well up in Northern California if you're up in Humboldt. Not as far north as like, you know, Redding, but you're up there. Three, two, three in the hizzy. <laughs> Nobody walks there. Well, I see some people do. It must have been some. Well, yeah, it had to be something when they made this connection right here with uh, I-15 because as it connects right there, pretty much cuts off the uh, sidewalk. So that would make sense. Now it's just one side you can walk on on Sahara. looking for a motorhome or an RV or a trailer HT $2 tip says hello sir what's up HT Fortress is a nice little breeze right now makes it a bit more manageable to be walking in a couple weeks the weather should cool off nicely There's the Raider Stadium. Nah, can't see it from here, but you gotta go down I-15 to uh, Russell Road, about uh, three miles or so. No breakfast, 170 people, 47 thumbs up, what is this? <laughs> yes guys, please hit the thumbs up button. For all 170 people watching. So let me stop here for a minute. And look around. You can see US Bank over there. 
There's some jewelers here. You, can, you guys can see into downtown Vegas. Tom Yost at 499 tip. Thank you, Tom. One of my active commenters here. And looking at moving to Vegas. Tanner, what's up, bro? This all industrial part right here. You go all up and down Highland right here. It's all industrial area. The I-15 highway view, not quite. We'll get there, but not yet. No name? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Hernandez says, what's up? Thanks for all the videos. You're welcome, man. 60 Gregma. Hollywood Saints says, Orleans has a nice buffet. Yep. It'll do it. And it won't break the strip buffets. Going to Area 51 next month. <laughs> well, if you saw my video the other day about alien stock and Area 51 and all that stuff, uh, I'm not going and I'm not encouraging anyone else. Now, we're not North Las Vegas. We're still, actually, we're pretty much on the, uh, we're pretty much right on the line here of the city limits of Las Vegas. Going from Sahara north is the city of Las Vegas, from Sahara south is Clark County. So I'm actually pretty much right on the dividing line right now between uh, these, all these hotels and properties and businesses that are governed between the city on this side and the county on this side. So uh, North Las Vegas got to go farther north. Circus Circus Resorts Road. I can barely see the Venetian sticking out. I can see the very top of the Eiffel Tower there, the Paris, Treasure Island, Mirage, Trump. Uh, I think Cosmo just passed there. Let's see fairly far out. I can see the, the top of the Marriott the convention on Convention Center Drive. No breakfast. Are we going to Paris? Nah, not planning on it. Not planning on going that far. Obi, you moved to Vegas in March. You're back in D.C. That was pretty quick, man. Been to D.C. before. Did all the tourist stuff when I was there. But I like the Vegas life. You want me to walk to Sam's Town from here? <laughs> yeah. It'll probably be a 12-hour live stream. I'll have to be... Uh, Stop it multiple times to get water, grab food. Bill's watching from Greece. Nice, man. This is an awesome walkthrough of Sacramento. <laughs> I was just in Sacramento not too long ago, actually. Good old 916, Sacramento.
driving from LA to Vegas on Labor Day. Any tips? Yeah, leave early. <laughs> leave early, man. Hell, Labor Day weekend. There's like five times here you can guarantee Vegas is going to be a madhouse. And Labor Day weekend is one of them. It's opening weekend. It's Super Bowl weekend. Opening weekend of March Madness for college basketball. Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, and New Year's Eve. Those like five times a year. Vegas is pretty, pretty well packed with 200,000 plus people coming to town. Under 300, will I ever move from Las Vegas? Man, no plans anytime soon. I enjoy my life here. Let's see, we were in LOV many moons ago. We were told not to walk off this strip. It's very dangerous. Certain parts just outside the strip are known for being pretty crappy. Like right behind the stratosphere here, Naked City, that's known for being a bad area. A lot of people would say that's like the worst area of Las Vegas. Other spots like immediately behind the strip, also not very nice. Some is just an industrial area too. So you're definitely not like out in the suburbs or anything. Olivia coming back for Thanksgiving. Cool. Thanksgiving shouldn't be too crazy here. New Year's Eve will definitely be crazy. This is Babby Drew. No, I have in the past. I don't go too frequently though. Do a New Year's Eve live stream. <laughs> The only problem with the New Year's Eve live stream, like any live stream where there's large crowds around, it's almost impossible to live stream because there's so many other people also trying to do the same thing. I think it just sucks up all the bandwidth. I tried live streaming when the Raiders had their ground breaking for the stadium. Couldn't do that either. Couldn't get signal on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Instagram. I could not get signal on any of them to live stream. That is not looking. There we go. Cool. Thank you. Is there a destination today? <laughs> I said going to the strip. But uh just kind of cruising around. <laughs> no breakfast, my agent trying to give me the thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah guys, please hit the thumbs up button. I got almost 200 people watching. We only got like 75 thumbs up though. So if you're not too distracted by all the sites right now on your screen, you can hit the thumbs up icon below the uh, video. That would be nice. Please and thank you. The Labor Day crowd typically comes on Friday and they're going to leave on Monday. Or some might still leave on Sunday, but when it's a uh, three-day three -day weekend, that's when you get more people coming in. So some also take off Friday to make it a longer weekend. Some take off Tuesday. any of them pesky grasshoppers nah they've pretty much disappeared when i was out in the desert far out in the desert the other day i saw some but not that many seems like they came did their thing and bounced hummus vegas grill huh
Patrick flying into Vegas tomorrow. Nice, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Golden Steer. I've not eaten in this place, but I've been inside it before. This place has some pretty cool history. Stacy says this is Vegas so much. I'm glad you like it. Lucky Dragon here, all fenced off still from when it closed. I think it was just under two years after it opened, or a year and a half. The place did not last very long. So. so this place just sitting here. It looks like it's essentially abandoned. I mean, man, there is like... Nothing going on here. And Mage says hi, David says hey, what's up guys? Charles says, I live in Vegas and still watch your videos. Yeah, Jamie. I know John says, uh, yeah, someone's obviously trimming the plants though. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it, but the sign says Casino Temporarily Closed. Mick, the forecast says 108 in Henderson today. Man. Yeah, but even still, this summer has not been as bad as so many others we've had in the past in terms of how hot it's gotten. So. What oh, can I do? Right, let's take a shot. Here we can see SLS right here. Maybe step back from this plant. One thirteen is the high in Phoenix. I can believe it. Phoenix is just a little hotter than Vegas. Watching from Sweden, says John. All right, where the hell did this wind come from all of a sudden? Jeez. Jordy watching from Toronto, nice.
watching the live stream. Glad to have you both. It's always cool when I get some couples who want to check out the live stream as well. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me catch up on my comments here. All right, I can chill in the shade for a moment. Sugar butt, uh, you caught me live a couple times, sugar butt. So I can't really forget your name <laughs> in the comment section. It's kind of hard to forget that one. Sand Blaster says, smash the like button, folks. Please do. Thank you. Not going to walk in front of this car because she doesn't see me. And, all right, whatever. Just walk behind. Where are all these cars coming from right here from Naked City? There's like seven cars lined up to turn. An eighth one coming up. You don't see that many cars down here. Any vegan restaurants in Vegas? Oh, of course. There's a few million people here. They got their fair share of vegan restaurants. I am not vegan. But I know they exist. Got you, Jacob says Sherry. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Uh, let's see. Has the SLS changed their sign to Sahara? Not that I, I don't see S. Oh uh, no, you can just barely see the top of it right there. It still says SLS. Although I can see an A right over there, so maybe that part says Sahara. Vegas has everything, lol. Woo! get back to my car either walk uber ride there's ways to get back there's ways to get around here eddie griffin i may have to walk up this way and grab a water <laughs> Pretty cool how they do that on the screen. A 3D image. Jordan, Mr. Las Vegas put Jimmy Fallon out of business. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. That might be a tough one to top. How far am I from Roland Rick's barbecue? Well, I think we have one back that way. There was a Rick's Roland Smoke barbecue. They have one up, I think, on the strip, and I think they have one over on Highland or somewhere over there. So I can go through here. Yeah. Rico says the shows are helpful and informative. You're welcome. Glad you liked them.
actually I'll uh, utilize my selfie stick here in a moment and extend it out so you guys can see uh, they call us the fairgrounds here when they I think it was about four or five years ago they developed this to, to have rock and Rio here and any other events I'll give you guys a shot overlooking here Head of the pigeon, too. I don't know what the high roller costs off the top of my head. I've done it twice before. I've done it twice, but off the top of my head, I don't remember what it cost. I thought it was like 30 bucks or something. All right, so across from Sahara SLS, they still have SLS up there. And I thought earlier I could see the letter A up there, so I thought it might be like Sahara, and that was the last A, but kind of just looks like a letter A up there by itself. So, false alarm on the Sahara. There, just to give you guys a shot here. It looks like they had something set up here for another event. Glad they put this area to use though, because this area behind Circus Circus here is really just empty, empty lot of just gravel and just rock. Hello from Pittsburgh, nice. Mark coming for the first time in October. I would say take advantage of a bunch of the free stuff, man. See the sign, the Bellagio Fountains, the Mirage Volcano, go downtown, all that kind of stuff. All the real iconic stuff in Vegas. All right. This is going to take longer than I thought it would, but I guess that's part of the fun. No, I haven't seen Trooper lately. I have not. <laughs> it was blowing through red lights here on this trip. Right, guys, but you didn't know this curfew law is strictly enforced in Clark County. Huh. Isn't that funny? In Las Vegas, of all places, trying to set a curfew. Farewell. 
mean, we are officially in Paradise, Nevada now. We're in the unincorporated area. Andrew says, no wonder Strip is ghost town for him to 5 a.m. Yep, they got to make sure everybody's in bed. Everybody's got to get in bed tonight to go to church in the morning on Sunday. Black and blue, I don't think the cops plan on rounding up hordes of people off the strip. Come curfew, yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> Jordan Paradise Strip, not Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are technically in Paradise right now, but it is known as the Las Vegas Strip. Is Vegas going to have a second strip in the future? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Not sure where they would put it. Rick in Vegas, pretty sure the curfew only applies to minors. That's probably a good bet. And you guys remember the old Wet n Wild Park down here on the north end of the strip? That closed back in 2004. I remember coming to that years ago. That was like one of the coolest things on the strip, I thought. going to replace what and wild there man that has been the talk for a while uh it was the all net resort and arena it was supposed to get built there like four or five years ago it's supposed to be a res hotel resort with shopping and a sports arena i believe uh jackie robinson was supposed to be i don't know if he's the founder or the one funding it or whatever the case was i believe it was a former uh i think he played basketball at unlv Water in sight. I'll get some eventually. At the store right up here. Well, yeah, quote unquote, right up here. <laughs> As I keep walking down the strip. I'm like, yep, this is going to take longer to get there than I thought. says uber my man yeah on the way back probably there's a mini mart up on the right yeah that's where i'm going that is where i'm going Two for one dollar Deja Blue Water at this store, nice.
here's a spot if you guys want to live on the strip. I know, I know of one guy who used to live in here. That's like really close to the action. Which, oh, am I walking this way? Is the sidewalk keep going? Is it dead? It looks like it. What the hell? Is this dead end or keep going? Oh, there's steps. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Loitering. Violators will be prosecuted. Man, they're serious. See the water slide back there. Over at the uh, like the RV park behind Circus Circus. See the slide. See the ride. People cooling off on a hot day. Dennis Boucher watching from Vermont. Nice. <laughs> Guy riding around in the slingshot. You see those rentals all over the place here in town. Let's see what's in the magazine racks today. Vegas Thrill Guide, Nevada Real Estate, Chicken Ranch, Little Darlings, and Deja Vu. All right, that's what we got. Same stuff from well, 15, 20 years ago. Hey guys, there you go. Two for one, deja blue water. <laughs> so whoever said that was dead on. Feel the cool air already. Kids t shirts, four for basically ten bucks. Bring plenty of moisturizer. Oh yeah, dry out here, especially with the hard water. 
But you should put lotion on pretty much every time I'm done taking a shower. Where's the 7-Eleven you speak of? What's 7-Eleven? Got to have a shower filter in Vegas, it helps. <laughs> well, here you go. It's the Deja Blue 2 for 1. We weren't kidding around. Huh. Okay. And Dasani as well, that's interesting. They have both. So they got this Deja Blue two for one. And they have Dasani two for one get four of them. <laughs> Jacob only drinks that fancy Fuji water. <laughs> ah. I think we'll go with just one. Uh, e Phoenix, three dollar tip. I was out in Vegas about a week ago. Had a great time. Well, glad to hear it, man. Thank you. All paying for the water I'm getting right now. Kenneth lives in Summerlin and loves it. Greg says Dasani's basically tap water. Peter says it tastes like plastic. <laughs> All right, guys, tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Aquafina awful. Well, what's your guys' favorite water since you're debating about waters? I so let's see. The Karis says Aquafina's awful. Two people said they think Dasani is awful. What is your guys' favorite water? Crystal Geyser? Smart water? Fiji water? Avion? This is the cheapest one. Gravel's favorite water is Dr. Pepper or Highland Spring. <laughs> okay. Whatever's cheap. Only in glass is the water the best. Pure Leaf Unsweetened Tea. Avion, Coors Light, Smart Water, Margarita, Poland Spring, Tap Water, Dasani. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, like eight people in line and only one cashier. No bueno. Actually, make that like 12 people in line with everyone behind me. Sneak it out. No, not sneaking out. I'll pay for it. <laughs> there we go. Nah, don't smoke, so no need for cigarettes. What is that about? Nothing. Like, nothing. Oh, yeah, look at this. No breakfast. <laughs> Everyone makes a deal about straws, but water bottles are worse. Eh, I'm willing to bet it takes more plastic for a water bottle than for a straw. Nestle water, two for a dollar. Apparently, got quite a few waters here that are two for a buck.
<laughs> Throw the money on the counter and walk out? Nah. Not in that much of a hurry. <laughs> Slot sluts. Ten dollar tip once you go over to Red Rock. Thank you. Hello. This is it. Only one water? Just one. I think that'll. It is, but. Okay. I think, I think I'll survive. Yeah, actually, I'll grab a second. I get two of them for a buck. Two for one dollar? Yeah, I'll grab the other one. Let's go. Why don't I just want to pay for it first? Yes, ma'am. Two. Thank you, thank you. You need this small bag? Uh, no. No? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a line. Two dollars. Alright, my thirst, my thirst talk is getting a second one. Water review. Well, let me set down one of these waters so I can drink one. Uh -huh. The TY. Remember Beanie Babies being popular like 20 years ago? Robin Leach to live in Vegas? Not sure. <coughs> Slot was The only thing about that is a lot of times these places aren't big on filming in the casino, so probably wouldn't be able to live stream in the Red Rock for too long. <laughs> Master Super Blaster, $5 tip. Thank you, bro. I'm trying to keep myself hydrated here. All right, Robin Leach died a year ago. So I take it he's not living here. <laughs> Grab the other water. Kind of trash. Just throw out this other one. Whew. Back into the sun here in a sec. Not sure how much longer I'm gonna go. Oh, we shall see. No more locusts as of late? No, not really. Master Super Blaster, nope. Tour of Area 51, yeah, okay. Exactly. It may be, it may be the last video you ever see. 
Do I have sandals on? Nah, I'm wearing shoes. Are casino hotels family friendly? I mean, Vegas was a place designed for adults to come and have fun. They have made some attempts to be more family friendly, particularly with Circus Circus right here. This is like the family casino. Phoenix still thinking about moving out to Vegas. <laughs> uh, I'll walk you guys this way here. Maybe go walk right in front of Circus Circus. Yeah, no breakfast, you heard that. <laughs> good buffet too. I have heard that before. When they going to finish that building place across from you? Is that ticket you're referring to the Drew? Yeah, that's been postponed until uh, 2021, sometime around there, I believe. At least that's the plan for now. Is the pepper mill any good? Oh yeah, I like eating there eaten there numerous times before. I like the pepper mill. That's a local favorite and a tourist favorite. So I'm right in front of Circus Circus here. Pink Flamingo. You didn't get to try the buffets on the strip. Big Elvis t-shirt, 28 bucks. Yeah, Peppermill, LSI, and they're both pretty good spots to eat. <laughs> no breakfast, how's it smell? It smells pretty normal. I'll say that. Maybe it's just so hot right now that it kills some of the scent. Shades, lots of fun. Why are the buffets so expensive? To get more money. <laughs> Little slots of fun. Let's see if I can walk through here. Santos! No. Oh, I'll walk through here quickly and cool off. <laughs> if that door's not broken, it might be now. Love the carpet, yeah. Casino security hanging out inside the gift shop. <laughs> How convenient. We're walking through right now.
Oh, uh, looks like the bowling alleys are not in play at the moment. We got here Subway to eat, pizza to eat. Semi local, same old bowling, shaking my head. <laughs> Oh, this has all been gutted here. When are we just gonna go in here now? Definitely smells like subway inside of here. Our man Gasumlu says hi from Sweden. It looks like he's got the Canadian flag for his uh, for his icon on his screen name. Oh man, something going on here at McDonald's. You know, multiple measure officers over here. Second time I've seen law enforcement out and about just uh, today in the last hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half. So I'm not sure what happened up here. Hi from the Netherlands, cool. Yeah. More sirens coming, jeez. <laughs> and tons of action on the weekends. Master Super Blaster, that is correct. I'm supposed to do a video together, uh, I don't know, sometime in the semi-near future. Resort will be finished. Uh, resorts will supposed to be late 2020 is the plan. I'll walk up here in a minute and extend the selfie stick over here and give you guys a view. I believe the whole thing is supposed to be done by 2020. Uh, let me get you guys to look over the wall here and you guys tell me what it looks like because as I extend the stick out, I can't see. So, all right, guys, gonna get you a view of Resorts World. Nice, what a hole. They have a lot of work to do. All right. Let's see, Chris, is thanks for these walking streams, even more so during those July, August temperatures. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm the only YouTuber in Vegas that will go live stream when it's 111 degrees outside. <laughs> I think it was the hottest day of the year thus far. <laughs> as far as I know. I was like, you know, I'll go out in the extreme heat. 
live stream. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cross the street. Rational Pragmatist, $2 tip. Thank you, my man. And fending off Locust at that. Yeah, that video last month where I was out and about live streaming, fighting off the plague of Locust. Hello from North Carolina, well hello! Okay, let's get indoor skydiving over there. Convention center expanding over here. Dublin, good old Ireland. Time for a Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's. I'm getting kind of hungry, man. Doesn't sound like too bad of an idea, but I'm gonna just wait till I get back home to eat. It is how you save some money on some drinks. Is it safe to walk around at night here on the strip? Well, I've walked this strip plenty of times at night. And so do, you know, millions of others throughout the year. So, it's relatively safe. The north end here is where people are a bit more cautious sometimes because, as you can see, it's not truly, clearly not as built out as the middle of the strip or the south end of the strip. You get closer to downtown, you have more homeless people as well. You know, I mean, back here, behind the stratospheres, the Naked City is considered to be a really bad area by a lot of people. OMOBOB -O -O says, Jacob, I'll support you for public office. You should run. <laughs> Thanks, man. I've had a few people say that before. Tell me to run for mayor. Someone said run for commissioner. Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce. Let's go for here so I can hang out in the shade and cool off a little bit more. Craig, the king of Vegas, thanks, man. <laughs> Suvi bling. It's nice and cool in here. What's more dangerous, the stratosphere rides of the neighborhood you would land in? <laughs> Shops all the same souvenirs, pretty much. There's only so much variety. Good thing they got the pocket knives wrapped up. <laughs> Definitely don't need any accidents happening. Thank you, Brian. Get more water. Do you get Gatorade sometimes? I don't do a lot of Gatorade. Dominic, hope you're doing well. Thanks, man. Jordan, can I buy you a t-shirt? <laughs> I'm gonna start drinking the rest of the second water I got here.
So look at those pants. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if these would look good on me though. Eh, I don't know. I don't think it's quite my style. <laughs> don't put them on, Jay. <laughs> Uh, lost the signal for a moment, but back just in time to see Elvis rolling by on his motorized scooter. Ha! Oh, better run and catch the bus. <laughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. So yeah guys, I think I may just call it here. It's been almost an hour, 20 minutes I've been walking in this heat. Remember guys, I started way over at Palace Station, so I've walked a good distance today. I think I've covered a lot of ground. And it's freaking hot out here. So we got a few more few more weeks of this heat here in Vegas. And then uh we're gonna be in some cooler weather. HT to go get some rest, I think so. I've only had one meal so far today, so I think another meal will help me out. But I do appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Shout out to everybody who did a, a super chat and threw a tip in there. I appreciate it. It helped me pay for the waters that keep me hydrated and keep me alive as I'm out here walking around. So thanks guys for watching. You know, in a couple of days we we'll still have another video for you guys. We're just gonna keep rocking and rolling, talking all the cool stuff here in Vegas because there's always stuff going on guys so bye from the Las Vegas Strip for now see you guys